Dwayne Crowley here for Athlete 2.0 TV, sitting alongside Liam O'Griffin, who is the head coach of SBGI Cork City. Liam, thanks very much for taking the time to sit down with us. Thanks, sir. We're here today to see map uh, martial accident in Neptune Stadium in Cork City, where uh, Liam Oak has just run the first IMMAF sanctioned amateur event in a Republic Well, it wasn't Ireland. officially sanctioned by I I IMMAF, but uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to kind of predict what the IMMAF are going to um, release as their novice uh, rule set for for you know novice MMA competition. So I mean traditionally that would have been the MMA leagues. Um, however, that was um, kind of disbanded this year. Uh, Mark Leonard kind of decided to to call a day on that, um, and um, as a result, there's kind of a void left in that area of of competition. Um, on top of that, there there was. You know, down through the years, a lot of people kind of saying that because the MMA leagues didn't have the headshots in it, that you know, that was that was a kind of a um, that was a shortcoming in the rule set, and um, that there there's talks of of trying to push the, the headshots back in under light contact rules in order to get the, these guys kind of their their first um, experience and on the MMA ladder. So, for those who may not know, what are the new rules though, that you're trying to implement? Well. They're, they're by no means the new rules, they're just a kind of a set that we were kind of experimenting with. Um, uh, so I, I know that there was the, the, the MMA Federation in Northern Ireland had a go at their, their set of rules there um, just a couple of months ago and we, we just kind of had a look at that and just we, we, we had a kind of a, a brainstorm as to what we could do to know, on, along the same lines and, and try and keep it as simple as possible to include as much as possible. So basically what it is is MMA league rules but the headshots are included. Um, the, com the competitors wear headgear while they're standing. So uh, as soon as the fight goes to the ground, if there's a takedown or anything like that, as soon as the, the position settles, then the referee shouts pause, comes in, removes the headgear from, from both fighters, and when the, the, the headgear is clear and the arena is ready to go, they, they keep going. The time is paused for that, for that amount of time. And they continue to do headshots on the ground, but they, either when they're on the ground or when they're uh, standing, the, the caveat is that it's light contact, so nobody is to be looking for a knockout at this level. This is not knockout stage, that's, that's amateur and pro. This is novices getting as much experience on the mat as they can. So we're looking for you know, nice tidy technical boxing, technical kickboxing, um, ground and pound that, that helps the grappling more so than gets the TKO. And um, yeah, that's everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, apart, actually, we have the, the the rounds as well. So we've done two three-minute rounds, and if there was a draw at the end of that, they would go and fight a third round. Um, and also, what we did was uh, each round was of its own merit. So even if a competitor won the first round by submission, they still had to fight on the second round. And again, that's just to give them more mat time. Do you know, at this stage, it's all about the the hours spent on the mat, and we want we want the novices of this generation to get 20, 30 fights in at this level before they even attempt to go amateur. So today there was close to 30 fights, I believe. Um, how do you feel they went? Was there um, some teething problems with the rules or did you feel Yeah, there was. Yeah, the first couple of fights were, were a bit bloody all right, but um, we kind of figured out then, I, I think, you know, it, it, it's gonna be, you know, this, this was the first time we did it. Uh, like the, the, the referees were trying to get a hold of it early on. Um, all the competitors were a little bit unsure, but about maybe six fights in, everybody understood what was going on. We had um, we we had a couple of blood noses and you know maybe you know my, minor kind of um, injuries and stuff like that. But um, by and large, everybody got, got the idea. And um, towards the end of the day, we we were really hitting our stride. It was actually 47 fights that were in total, and um, there was clubs uh, from all over the country. We had a couple down from uh, two clubs from Dublin. We had two two clubs from Midlands. We had some fighters from Galway. We had a, a truckload from Waterford um, and a, a good few from, from Cork and we had uh, 15 or 16 from SBG Cork as well so it was a really good turnout um, for, for what is an unproven platform like this 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 kind of rule set you know so we're, we're delighted with the support that we got from them. Just give me your thoughts on the current state of amateur MMA as it stands <laughs> in Ireland and what you'd like to see in the future. I know we discussed the IMAF rules mm -hmm. and bring them into you know, the cage, but there'd obviously still be another standard of amateur fights in the cage before going to pro. Is there any specific rules that you'd like to see with that? So, um, so th th this whole kind of, um, this, th th the reason that I kind of got involved in th this rule set at, at this point in time is I I'm involved with the, the IAPA, which is the Irish Amateur Pancreation Association, 
which is now recognised by the Irish Sports Council as the governing body for MMA in Ireland. And um, primarily we, we wanted to start from the grassroots up. So we want the novice level competition sorted first. We, like as a group we kind of discussed that amateur is just too big a step for somebody who's actually a novice Do you know they're, they're going in they're basically fighting professionally without being paid that that you know i mean the the difference between four and six ounce gloves is nothing as you can see some of the guys got blood noses today with six, with six and eight ounce gloves and that's like contact Do you know full contact with those gloves it, it, there's not not a whole lot of difference so and and for somebody who's like truly novice maybe spent six or eight months training that's just too big a step, I feel. I feel, and, and, and a, a good few coaches uh, would, would, would agree with that as well. Um, and, you know, it, it, this just gives like, the, the ones who are truly novice the chance to, to earn their stripes, get, get their experience done. You know, they, 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 they go from light contact, uh, according to the IMMAF, they, um, they, they have a very kind of a, a stepwise ladder for the safety within MMA. So they go from light contact to full contact with headgear, and then they go from there to amateur rules, then they go from there to pro on the national scene, and then pro on the international scene. And there's a very, very kind of distinguished level all the way along, and that's designed to get more people from the start line to the finish line, as opposed to loads on the start line, a load of falling at the first hurdle, a load more falling at the second hurdle. So we want to progress them through, and get them matched as evenly as possible with as much experience as possible. Um, so yeah, I mean, um, um, Martin Horkin ran the, 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 the event here today, so it's the Cork Martial Arts Expo. Uh, CMAP were involved as well, um, obviously all the, all of the other sponsors are doing that. Um, Martin asked, asked, asked me to give, to just kind of organise the, um, the MMA section, so SBG Cork uh, just organised the, the, um, the MMA section. So yeah, we're based in the city here, we're, we're literally Two miles from Neptune Stadium, we're um, on the Commons Road, just outside Blackpool, and we're open 12 hours every Monday through Sunday, and um, we've got classes in MMA, Jiu Jitsu, uh, kickboxing, Muay Thai, Capoeira, any, anything that involves beating somebody up, we teach it, we have people that do it, and we have, we have fun while we're doing it. So, Lee thanks very much for your time. Not bad. Thank you, sir.